morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. Or maybe I should just change the name to Think AI, because that's all we're talking about nowadays. We're coming at you live from deep, deep, deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to figure out how to squeeze AI into that, and I couldn't. We're talking innovation startups of the future. AI, not necessarily those, and not necessarily in that order. If you watch on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, I read this article in AIDaily.us, AIDaily.us, which is my new daily, every weekday blast of AI news. That's right, folks. The latest and greatest AI news personally curated by myself, me, myself, and I, of the trio of us, in your mailbox or in your podcast catcher in your podcatcher. Do they still call them podcatchers? Every weekday. Anyways, I was reading, I think it was on Friday or Thursday, I forget the I forget the day, but they were talking about AI nursing. And they were talking about how in applying AI to medicine and applying AI to nursing, they are finding that the AI is able to come up with more interesting uh, solutions to problems than the doctors or nurses are able to. And some people uh, come at this with shock and they go, oh my God, I can't believe AI is going to start replacing doctors and nurses. And I'm like, of course AI is going to be replacing doctors and nurses. Because if you think about what diagnosis is, it's problem solving. It's problem solving. It's basically deep problem solving in the medical realm. I mean, did you ever used to watch House? I mean, that was deep problem solving in the medical realm. There was always some weird disease of the week, and he had to figure out what this disease of the week was. And typically it was some weird disease. But if you think about it, human beings, we're only so smart. We can only fit so much knowledge into our brains. We can only fit too, so much data into our brains. We can only fit so much knowledge in and make correlations between that knowledge. I mean, if you think about how most inventors invented new stuff, what they did is they, they, they looked at all these things that were out there and then they put themselves in these positions and then all of a sudden some juxtaposition occurred which popped into their head and say, hey, maybe if we did this and this and this and this and this, combining a bunch of things that are already out there, then we would have this new innovation. And it's the same in medicine. There's a ton of, there's so much medical data out there. And every doctor, every nurse has only so much medical data, the capacity to hold so much medical data in their head. Whereas something like AI, it has the capacity to hold so much more medical data that it can see correlations with things that have nothing to do with what the doctors and nurses know. So having access to that massive data set does give it an edge when it comes to diagnosis. It does give it an edge when it comes to treatment because it may know things that the doctor doesn't know. Now, I'm not saying replace the doctor with an AI. I'm not saying replace the nurse with an AI. What I'm saying is that don't be afraid to bring in AI in the medical field and leverage it to expand the brains of the doctors and nurses so that they can see other solutions outside of what they know. But it's the same with every industry. It's not just medicine. It's every industry. We are all so concerned, or if you listen to the media, they are also concerned that AI is just going to take over and jobs will disappear and so many people will no longer be able to work anymore and we have to worry about unemployment, we have to worry about tiny homes, we have to worry about housing, we have to worry about feeding, we have to worry about da 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 da, da. But the reality is, is that AI will not replace us. AI will augment us. AI will help us do these things. Just think of how many people, like how many cures could have been, could be invented by AI that's being able to look at this set of data that we, there is no, we have no comprehension of this set of data, but it's able to see correlates between sets of data that we were never able to see because we were, maybe I was an oncologist or maybe I'm a, I'm this kind of a physician or that kind of physician. Maybe I'm focused in my field and I can't see outside. I think I told you once about this guy who was telling me he 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 was a uh, I think he was a doc I think he was a doctor or he was a um, a pipe guy he was like he was like uh, flying in from Houston or something like that and he was into pumps oil pumps 
right? And he sat down beside a guy in the airplane who was doing heart pumps. And they started comparing notes. And they said, well, heart pumps and oil pumps are very similar. So why don't we create an organization that allows us to trade data between our organizations so that we can use best practices from each for the other? And if you think about it, unless they had sat down next to each other on the plane in that serendipitous connection, then that would never have occurred. How many serendipitous connections are we missing because we're not physically <laughs> with each other, we're not physically connected to each other, we're on our own little human islands, whereas AI it's not doesn't have that problem. Every piece of data can be connected to every other piece of data. So if an AI who's looking to solve a specific medical issue needs something from, I don't know, golf technology or, uh, I don't know, um, oil pumping technology or some other technology, something that has absolutely nothing to do with the field that it's in, wouldn't it be interesting if we could allow it to look everywhere and see if it can find solutions where we wouldn't expect them to be? I think that's where the key to AI is. The key to AI is giving it more data, as much data as it possibly can get, and having it pull correlations in from disparate areas that we may not even know could be connected in some way. That's where the power is. And I think we can use that power in the medical field, we can use that power in, in in all of our problems, all of the problems that we have, food, housing, all of the big problems that humanity has can maybe be solved by AI with enough knowledge. So don't be afraid of it. Maybe we should just give it more and see what it comes back with. If you ask me, maybe it has the answer to climate change. We just haven't asked it yet. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future. Oh.